Hello, today we are going to be looking at how to update your REC template to get your logo onto it. So I'm going to perform this task on our hosted apps, uh, which is our browser version of the product, uh, because it does include that extra step. So what I've got here is I do have a client file open. I'm on the advisor product. Um, and what you'll see is that I have the recommendations tab visible. So this is critical for you to be able to do what we need to do. If you don't see the recommendations tab, we're going to go through that process now. So we're going to click on file in the top left corner. We're going to click on options and I want you to expand general here and turn um, both of these on, these recommendations, um, editing and excluding um, onto true. So let's look at true for both of those um, and then we're going to apply and click OK. So what you'll then need to do is just close your file. If you've got an open, close your program and restart it. Um, and you should see that recommendations tab. So I'll just let that complete for a second um, and then I'll restart this recording. So I have closed my file, I've closed my program and I've just restarted it. Um, I just need to wait a few minutes for the file that I was working in to be ready again instead of changes pending. That just means it's processing because I had it open um, while I was playing in there. So I will pause this one and resume in a second. Great, so that was just a few seconds. So I'm gonna jump back into my client file. Now this can be any client file that you have that you have created a recommendation in is ideal. Um, otherwise you can create one on the fly. So you wanna to go to the recommendations tab and if you've already got a recommendation created, just click it to highlight it um, and then click preview in the top left. Once you do this, you'll be able to see how your recommendation template currently displays. So I'm mainly going to focus on the logo for this one, but I will show you where the other sections are. So in this top little section here, you'll see a logo section. We want to click on the open folder here to select a logo file. Now, if you are using hosted apps like I am, this is not looking at your local computer. So chances are you won't be able to see anything useful in here. So what you actually need to do is upload one. So if I just um, open up my, my local data here, so in my local file structure, um, I have found my file that I want to use. Now I'm keeping it roughly about 100 kilobytes, anything too large and it slows everything down a little bit. So I'm going to drag and drop this over to my downloads folder. So that's just dragging and dropping from my computer to the Optera client hosted apps product. So just click save. You want it to be in this PC downloads. So click save when it comes up, give it a second and you should be able to see it there. So the two file types that it's after is a JPEG or a bitmap file type. So just make sure that your image file is one of those. Once you see it there, click on it and click open. Okay, so you can see my logo is slightly large. If I wanted to, I'd probably adjust that locally um, just by editing that image file on my computer and then re-uploading it. For now though, that will be fine. So if I close preview now, um, some of the things that I want to look at is the agronomist section. I can see here that it is blank um, and I can also see that my disclaimer down the bottom here is blank. So if I close preview, the place that you edit those is in recommendation settings in the top toolbar. If you expand out the agronomist section, you can see the details that you want to enter here. So I will just enter in a few details. Now it does look at your name, your number and your email address are the things that will display on the recommendation. So make sure those are entered. Um, and then the notes editor section is where you enter in your disclaimer. So you can copy and paste that from a, a Word file if you have that, um, or you can just type it in. Once you're happy with both of those, um, you can just close out of this little pop-up and click on yes to save changes. We're now going to just click around a little bit and we're going to preview our recommendation again and we should see these changes here. So I can see my name is now listed in this section here. Um, the little thing that I typed is now entered as my disclaimer. So this is ready to go. So now that I'm happy with it, I'm going to close preview and I'm going to go back to the file tab. Um, now I want to upload my rec template to corner post. So this is nothing to do with the client file. It is my rec template. 
So if I click on this tools drop down here, I want to click on upload rec template. Now that will do something. Usually takes about 30 seconds or so. succeeded in pushing data to corner post. So that's all I wanted to happen there. So we click OK on that one. So if that's all that you wanted to do um, on your computer, you could just then close your file down, by can close on the left um, and closing your program down. And the next steps that we're going to complete will be on the mobile app. I will pause for a minute or two because we generally say wait five minutes after you've pushed that um, rec template to corner post before you try to re retrieve. So I'll pause this video and wait a few minutes. Okay, it has been a couple of minutes now. So what I'm going to do is on my mobile app, I'm on the home screen and I'm going to touch on the three lines in the top right corner and I'm going to touch on retrieve rec template. We're going to click OK. And that is hopefully going to pull our updated rec template down. Just touch OK. So now we want to check it. So go into farm management. Just touch on one of your files, touch done. Okay, so we're going to go to the rec tab. We're going to just touch on any rec that you have here. And I'm going to touch on view report in the top. And there we have it. We have my updated rec template with my new logo. It's got my name, it's got my number and my disclaimer down the bottom here. So that is all you need to do. Have a great day.